Hi, this is Chip Desart. I wanted to show you how I'm going to get footage out of Final Cut Pro 7 and get it into X with a program I developed by Philip Hotnitz and his team, uh, 7 to X. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go to, I have my sequence here. Uh, it's a pretty basic sequence. Only thing I want is just the overlay up here and then the cut here and then there's another dissolve here. So we're going to just try the sample. There's one sequence, so we're going to go File. Uh, we're going to go Export. We're going to go XML, and as we do XML, we're going to use Apple Interchange Format Version 5. Um, I don't want the master clips outside of selection, so I'm just going to hit OK. And then when I hit, when I, once I hit OK, I'll just keep it on my desktop, and then there it goes. So then I'm going to close out Final Cut Pro 10, and then 7. Let's look for an app called 7 to X for Final Cut Pro. So once I open that, let's close out Final Cut Pro uh, 7. Let's save it first. And then there is the little app here. All right, once it opens, I'm going to quit that. Once it opens, it's going to, uh, we're going to go here to my desktop. And here's my sample. It, it asked me the XML file. And then it says save it or send it to Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to send it to Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so now it opened up automatically Final Cut Pro 10, and then once it does that, uh, we will see how it looks in our new uh, sequence. Okay, now that we have gotten uh, everything um, together, so let us look at what has happened. So what it's going to do automatically, if you, I'm running this, uh, this that footage was from an external drive, but it's going to put it in your movie folder. So let's look right here. And it's going to call it sample 7 to X sequences. And that's a key. That's a compound clip that it gives you. I'm going to see one thing that is wrong with it, that uh, my bug is not correct. So let's create a new project and let's see what we can do. So we're going to under sample, the default event, we're going to call it uh, 7 to X. And then once I create that, then um, I can see what actually is here in this compound clip. So I'm just going to hit the W key to put this on the timeline. And then let's see what we can do. All my cuts are there. That one's there. That one's there. Let's see if my cross dissolve is there. So, yep, there it is. Okay. Uh, that's a fade in, fade out dissolve. And let's see this one. Yep. Okay. So that's there. The only thing I'm having issue with right now is this logo. So let's double click on the compound clip and let's see how it translated. So once I click on this compound clip, it put it here. And um, I just don't know. It brought it in as a keyword. So let's go into sample. Not a keyword. It has a PNG, the white PNG. It should be a little smaller. It didn't know because I, I, I made that smaller in the post. So. I probably would just go here, take that out for now, and put it back in. So I would drop this in. Let's just select this thing. Let's hit Q, make it a connected clip. Uh, let's see something. And then once it's a connected clip, it looks a little crazy, I know. So we're going to go right here, and we're going to click on this button, and then we're going to just uh, move it down. Not upside down, but right there, and then we're gonna move it down here in the corner. So let's see how this goes. All right, and then we're gonna come back, and there it is. So that's a, a fairly easy fix for that. Uh, how I did that, um, I didn't uh, look at the title safe, things like that. But uh, I would say that um, that is an easy st uh, fix for what I did, and it came across fairly. Uh, well from Final Cut Pro 7 so when I, I do have to move this footage eventually over to Final Cut Pro 10 and uh, this is a very simple way to do it uh, the app is at the time of this taping it's 999 is on the App Store um, if you go to 7 to X just type in 7 to X and then you'll be able to find it and also you have they have a 10 to X uh, as well so XML is the key here and uh, you can find it there in the App Store. So let's look for it real quick. 7 to X. There it is. 7 to X. There it is. 
42 ratings and uh right now it's installed but if you see it it was it's nine uh nine dollars nine uh nine cents so i think it's pretty good and i'll be using it to bring some um legacy projects that i have over to final cut pro 10 i'll see you soon